Welcome back to our solo playthrough narrated story of Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. Before we get started, thanks for your feedback on Finn's rapier. I have decided to replace her dungeon delver feat we took at 4th level with the dual wielder feat, which makes her use of the rapier legit. Previously for our valiant band of heroes. After a brief respite in the ruined storeroom, the party ventured back into the depths of Wave Echo Cave. They explored the south quarters, a once miner's barracks turned into a grisly scene of death and decay. Encountering three ravenous ghouls feasting on the remains of the fallen, a tense battle ensued and the party emerged victorious, though not without injuries. Continuing their journey through the cramped and ominous mine tunnels, they encountered an ochre jelly, splitting into two upon attack. Battling the resilient foe, they eventually defeated it, their collective determination unwavering. Finally, they entered the Great Cavern, where they discovered skeletal remains and were alerted to the presence of lurking ghouls on the western ledge, preparing for yet another dangerous encounter in the depths of the cave. <coughs> With a nightmarish determination, the undead horrors shambled closer, their cold, malevolent eyes fixed on the living. Finn, the nimble rogue, seizes the initiative, her rapier a glinting beacon of hope in the dimly lit room. With a swift thrust, she impales one of the approaching ghouls, causing it to emit a guttural, agonized moan. However, her follow-up attack with her short sword misses its mark, the ghoul dodging her strike. Another ghoul moves in, closing the distance with a hungry, predatory gait. Yet, before it can strike, Alden takes center stage. With arcane precision, he casts Shatter, a thunderous spell that reverberates through the chamber. A cacophonous blast erupts, rattling the ghouls to their decaying cores. One ghoul manages to save, but the rest are not so fortunate, their forms jolted and damaged by the powerful shockwave. As the melee ensues, a ghoul's clawed hand lashes out toward Finn, but her agility proves to be a shield against the ghoul's paralyzing touch. Elena channels her divine powers. May the light of Saluna repel these abominations, she declares, invoking her channel divinity turn undead. The room is suffused with radiant energy, and two of the ghouls manage to fend off Saluna's power, but the other three recoil in the radiant ambiance. Gareth senses an opportunity amidst the chaos. With a determined strike, he dispatches a ghoul. It collapses to the floor, a twisted and lifeless mass, its hunger forever extinguished. Two of the ghouls, driven back by the radiant presence of Elena, retreat with hisses of frustration, their malevolent intentions thwarted for now. However, the remaining ghouls press their assault, their hunger for living flesh unabated. One of them lunges at Gareth with bony claws, but the nimble dwarf dodges the attacks with fluid grace. Finn continues her relentless effort to fend off the undead menace. Her rapier, usually a precise instrument of death, misses its mark this time. She doesn't let frustration cloud her focus, and with a calculated strike, her short sword finds its target, piercing through the ghoul's rotting flesh, eliciting a guttural, otherworldly howl of pain. Alden steps into the fray with arcane prowess. His fire bolt streaks through the air, hitting a ghoul squarely in the chest. The creature screeches as flames engulf it, leaving behind a ghastly stench of burning flesh. Elena invokes her divine powers once more. Blessings of Saluna be upon you, she intones, her voice resonating with celestial energy. Her spell Bless bestows divine favor upon Alden, Finn, and Gareth, bolstering their combat abilities with the light of the moon goddess. In the midst of this frenzied clash, Gareth, fueled by determination, strikes with precision. His blade, Talon, slices through the air, finding its mark on another ghoul. The creature's existence is snuffed out, and it crumples to the ground, leaving behind a chilling silence. Two of the ghouls maintain their terrified retreat, their relentless hunger momentarily quelled. Sensing an opportunity, Finn swiftly dashes with remarkable speed, positioning herself strategically on the battlefield. Her rapier, an extension of her deadly intent, pierces a ghoul's rotting flesh with lethal precision. As the undead creature screeches in agony, Alden seizes the moment to hurl another firebolt, 
the fiery projectile strikes the ghoul with searing intensity, engulfing it in flames and filling the chamber with the noxious stench of burning flesh. One of the ghouls, driven by desperation and a craving for living flesh, lunges at Finn with its bony claws, but the nimble rogue evades the attack with a graceful dodge. Elena calls upon the power of Saluna once more, her divine incantation invoking the sound of a tolling bell. However, the ghoul manages to resist the effects of Toll the Dead. Gareth decides to make a strategic move. With a quick dash, he navigates the battlefield, closing the gap between himself and the ghouls. His presence alone is a daunting force, and the ghouls can sense the determination in his eyes. Two ghouls continue their harrowing escape from the radiant presence of Elena. Finn, with her rapier gleaming ominously in the dim light, lunges forward, her blade finding its mark with lethal precision. The ghoul's agonizing wail is swiftly silenced as it crumples to the ground, lifeless once more. Not content with her first kill, Finn pivots gracefully, her short sword in hand. Her second strike is just as deadly as the first, the blade slicing through the air to carve a deep gash across the ghoul's decaying flesh. The creature's ghoulish form quivers in pain, but its malevolence endures. Alden isn't one to be outdone. With arcane power coursing through him, he conjures yet another firebolt. The projectile streaks through the chamber, striking the retreating ghoul with unerring accuracy. Flames envelop the undead creature, reducing it to a smoldering husk as the stench of burnt flesh fills the air. Elena takes a shot with her crossbow, but the frantic movements of the ghoul make it a difficult target. Her bolt misses its mark, embedding itself into the stone with a resounding thud. Gareth once again opts for a strategic dash, ensuring he maintains his presence on the battlefield. The last remaining ghoul continues its divinely motivated flight. Finn wastes no time, her lithe form darts forward. Determination etched across her face, she dashes with uncanny speed, her eyes locked on the fleeing ghoul. Alden raises his staff, and with a focused incantation, conjures searing firebolt. The fiery projectile streaks through the chamber, its fiery tail illuminating the shadows. It strikes the ghoul squarely in the back, and the undead creature emits a blood-curdling screech as the flames consume it from behind. Its steps falter, and its limbs convulse in agony. Meanwhile, Elena takes aim with her crossbow, her eyes narrow with determination as she lines up her shot. The bolt whizzes through the air and finds its mark with deadly accuracy. It pierces the ghoul's fleeing form, and, with a final anguished howl, the undead monstrosity crumples to the ground, defeated. The room falls into a heavy silence, the echoes of battle now replaced by the soft crackling of the braziers. The party, victorious but weary, regroups amidst the grim aftermath of their struggle. Their chests heave with exhaustion, and their weapons remain at the ready. With the ghouls vanquished and their restless spirits at peace, the party takes a moment to catch their breath and survey the grim aftermath of the battle. Gareth, the ever-watchful warrior, moves cautiously through the room. His keen dwarven eyes scan the surroundings. There's nothing here worth salvaging, he observes with a hint of disappointment in his voice. Only the memories of those who perished. Finn, her rapier still gleaming in her hand, shakes her head somberly. It's a tragedy, really. These are miners. They came here seeking their fortune, but instead they found their doom. Alden takes a moment to kneel beside one of the skeletal remains. His voice carries a note of reverence as he murmurs, May the gods grant them rest. They deserve better than this. Elena offers a silent prayer for the fallen. Her eyes shimmer with a hint of sadness as she gazes upon the skeletal remains. Let us honor their memory by continuing our quest she suggests, her voice carrying the weight of their shared purpose. The room itself holds no treasures or secrets, only the haunting echoes of the past and grim reminders of the perils that lurk in the depths of Wave Echo Cave. With their exploration of this grim chamber complete, the party prepares to move forward, their resolve unshaken by the terrors they have faced. As the party ascends the stone-carved stairs to the north, a sense of anticipation fills the air. 
The dimly lit corridors of Wave Echo Cave seemed to whisper secrets of both peril and possibility. With every step, the weight of their quest presses upon them, and the echo of their footfalls reverberates in the ancient stone. Upon reaching the top of the stairs, Gareth approaches the wooden door that stands sentinel before them. His dwarven senses attuned to the slightest sound, he leans in close, his keen ears straining to decipher the voices beyond. Gruff and guttural, the voices speak in Goblin. Gareth straightens, his expression serious, and he turns to face his companions. In a hushed tone, he relays what he has heard. Their voice is on the other side, he murmurs, his words carrying the weight of caution. Goblinoids by the sound of it. Finn narrows her eyes in determination. Well then... Looks like we're about to be uninvited guests, she quips, a hint of her usual bravado in her voice. Alden stands ready for whatever may come. Let us be prepared for anything, he advises, his eyes scanning the corridor for potential cover. Elena clasps her holy symbol and closes her eyes in silent prayer. May the gods grant us strength and guidance, she whispers, her faith unwavering. With their resolve steeled, Gareth steps forward, his sinewy frame brimming with strength. Without hesitation, he pushes against the door, the creaking of the wood and the resistance from the other side, serving as a stark reminder that uncertainty and danger lie beyond. The door, stubbornly blocked by an unseen force, yields inch by inch, revealing what awaits them in the chamber beyond. As the door to the northern quarter swings open, with Gareth's determined push, the party steps into a dimly lit room. The chamber reveals itself, and a hushed tension permeates the air as they observe their surroundings. The room is a former barracks, its walls lined with old stone bunks that bear the weight of countless miners who once rested here between their grueling shifts. The soft glow and warmth of a central iron brazier cast an eerie light, dancing shadows across the chamber. Upon the stone bunks, six hulking bugbears sprawl languidly, their gruff voices conversing in guttural tones of goblin. Their conversation revolves around one shared sentiment, hunger. The grumbling bugbears seem frustrated and eager for sustenance. The party exchanges glances, recognizing the potential threat before them. These bugbears are no mere nuisances. Finn whispers to her companions, we should take them out before they raise an alarm for, or cause any trouble. Alden nods in agreement. Agreed. Let us strike decisively and minimize the risks. Elena steadies her grip on her holy symbol, preparing to call upon divine aid if needed. May the gods guide our actions and protect us. With a burst of movement, one of the bugbears, larger and more imposing than the rest, spots the intruders. He growls a guttural warning in Goblin. His words, an unmistakable declaration of hostility. The bugbears rise, their demeanor shifting from lethargic lounging to menacing readiness, and the room crackles with the imminent clash between the party and these formidable foes. Amidst the flickering glow of the iron brazier, a battle in the north quarters erupts in a cacophony of steel clashing against steel and the guttural roars of bugbears. Alden channels arcane energy through his fingertips, unleashing a barrage of ignited missiles that streak unerringly towards one of the bugbears. The forceful impact sends the bugbear reeling, but he remains on his feet, growling in anger. Finn, ever agile and swift, lunges at a bugbear with her rapier, but her attack is deftly parried by the bugbear's morning star. Her second strike with her short sword fares no better, as the bugbear anticipates her movements, deflecting her blows with practiced skill. Meanwhile, a bugbear seizes the opportunity to swing its morning star at Elena. The cleric, however, nimbly sidesteps the incoming strike, her faith guiding her movements. Another bugbear's morning star connects with Finn's side, eliciting a sharp gasp of pain from the rogue. Her leather armor takes some of the blow, but the force of the strike leaves her momentarily stunned. Elena calls upon her spiritual weapon, conjuring a spectral mace that materializes beside her. With a resounding swing, the mace strikes true, landing a solid blow on one of the bugbears. 
Elena's incantation continues as she attempts to toll the bugbear's fairy soul, but the creature's resilience allows it to resist the chilling effects. Gareth charges forward, his sword Talon gleaming with an otherworldly light. He cleaves into one of the bugbears, drawing a pained growl from the creature. The bugbear proves to be more resilient than expected, enduring the blow with grim determination. Gareth, undeterred, unleashes his action surge, but the bugbear's agility saves it from the impending strike, narrowly dodging the second attack. As the battle rages on, two bugbears advance further into the room, their gruff voices filled with defiance. Another bugbear strikes at Finn, landing a punishing blow with its morning star, while yet another targets Alden, whose quick reflexes allow him to evade the incoming strike. The north quarters resonate with the explosive force of Alden's shatter spell, the concussive wave of sound crashing into the bugbears. Two of the burly creatures are caught in the destructive radius, their howls of pain piercing the tumultuous noise. One bugbear, however, manages to shield itself partially from the destructive magic, avoiding the worst of the damage. Finn seizes the opportunity presented by the chaos. Her rapier darts forward with deadly precision, finding its mark in a bugbear's chest. The creature's gruff voice is silenced in a gurgled scream as it collapses, lifeless to the ground. With unwavering resolve, Finn lunges at another bugbear, her short sword slashing across its side, drawing a visceral growl of agony from the beast. Elena feels the sting of a bugbear's morning star against her armor. Her concentration wavers for a moment, but she stands her ground, her spiritual weapon retaliating with a punishing strike against one of the bugbears. Elena's eyes flare with determination as she calls upon her divine power once more, her outstretched hand delivering a lethal touch of inflict wounds that courses through another bugbear's body. The creature convulses in agony before succumbing to its injuries. Gareth continues to prove his mettle. With a masterful swing of his sword talon, he cleaves into a bugbear, causing it to stagger backward from the force of the blow. Gareth, ever strategic, uses his bonus action to shove the wounded bugbear five feet away, disrupting its stance and leaving it vulnerable to his next attack. In the midst of the melee, two of the bugbears attempts to strike back prove futile, as their morning stars miss their mark, and a third swing hits true, causing a searing flash of pain to course through Gareth's stout form. Alden, his staff of defense held high, strikes out at a bugbear with calculated precision, but the creature's instincts prove swift as it deftly evades his attack, narrowly escaping harm. Finn lunges at a bugbear with her rapier, but her strike misses its mark, the creature swaying aside just in time to avoid the deadly blade. With unwavering determination, Finn shifts her focus and slashes her short sword through the air with deadly efficiency. The beast lets out a guttural cry before crumpling to the ground, life extinguished. The bugbears, undaunted by their fallen comrades, press on with their relentless assault. One of them, intent on exacting revenge upon Finn, swings its morning star with brutal force. But Gareth intervenes, using his imposing presence to distract the attacker and give the attack disadvantage. The Morning Star misses its mark, much to the bugbear's frustration. Elena's Spectral Mace makes a valiant attempt to strike a bugbear, but the creature manages to evade the ethereal assault. Undeterred, Elena calls upon her divine power once more, casting Toll the Dead in an attempt to toll the final moments for a bugbear. However, the creature's willpower proves strong, and it resists the tolling effects. Gareth remains steadfast in the heat of battle. With a masterful swing of his sword talon, he cleaves into a bugbear, its gruff voice silenced as it crumples to the ground, defeated. Another bugbear retaliates by striking Gareth with its morning star, the impact sending a jolt of pain through the warrior's body. Alden casts a firebolt at a bugbear, but the flaming projectile veers off course, narrowly missing its mark. The bugbear grins menacingly in response. Finn thrusts her rapier towards a bugbear, but the creature evades the deadly point by a hair's breadth, its growls of defiance filling the chamber. Finn whirls around, her short sword proving more reliable weapon. The blade slices through the air with deadly precision, causing the bugbear to stagger and emit a pained snarl 
In a remarkable display of teamwork, Gareth once again steps in to shield his companions from harm. A bugbear, its morning star poised for a lethal strike on Finn, finds its attack disrupted as Gareth's imposing presence forces it into a disadvantageous position. The morning star swings wide, sparing Finn from the brunt of the assault. Elena's spiritual weapon strikes true this time, finding purchase on the body of a bugbear. The creature grunts in agony as the spectral force crashes into it. Elena channels the divine power within her once more, casting Toll the Dead in a bid to hasten the demise of another bugbear. Yet the beast's resolve remains unbroken, and it manages to shrug off the tolling effect. Gareth swings Talon with unwavering focus, but the bugbear sidesteps the attack with surprising agility, narrowly avoiding the blade's edge. In response, the creature retaliates, striking Gareth with its morning star and inflicting another painful blow. Alden summons a fiery bolt with precision. His firebolt streaks through the air, striking a bugbear square in the chest. The creature howls in agony as the flames engulf it, its life extinguished in a burst of searing heat. Finn continues to skirmish with her elusive bugbear adversary. Her rapier thrusts forth, but the nimble foe sidesteps the attack with a cunning grin. Undeterred, she follows up with her short sword, but the bugbear dances out of reach once more, its taunting chuckles echoing in the room. Elena's spiritual weapon swings through the air with ethereal grace, but this time the bugbear it targets manages to evade the spectral strike. The bugbear, growing frustrated by the relentless onslaught, snarls in defiance. Elena intones the incantation for Toll the Dead, her words resonate through the chain, and the bugbear, unable to withstand the tolling's chilling effect, succumbs to the necrotic energies, writhing in agony as its strength wanes. Gareth swings his blade talon with determination, but a bugbear deftly parries the attack with its morning star, sparks flying as the weapons clash. Amidst the chaos, a bugbear strikes with its morning star, but Gareth's battle-honed reflexes save him from a potentially devastating blow, and he narrowly avoids the worst of the impact. Alden conjures yet another firebolt, which arcs through the chamber to strike a bugbear squarely in the chest. The ch creature roars in agony as flames consume it. Finn, the nimble rogue, darts around her bugbear opponent, her rapier's thrust, missing its mark in the chaotic clash of blades. However, she swiftly adapts her short sword, finding a chink in the bugbear's armor. The blade pierces flesh, eliciting a pained grunt from the creature. Elena's spectral weapon swirls through the air once more, but a bugbear's evasive maneuvers allow it to narrowly dodge the ethereal mace's trajectory. Frustration builds in the cleric's eyes as she watches her divine ally struggle to find its mark. Gareth continues his duel with a bugbear adversary, his blade Talon, a blur of steel, in the dimly lit chamber. However, the agile bugbear manages to dodge the slashing attack, and the weapon continues to clash in symphony of combat. A bugbear seizes an opportunity to strike Finn with its morning star. The cool weapon connects with the rogue's side, eliciting a sharp cry of pain. Alden casts another firebolt, but the flickering flames go astray, missing their intended target, much to his frustration. Finn continues her relentless assault. Her rapier's thrust, however, misses the agile bugbear, and the creature, the creature narrowly sidestepping her attack. Undeterred, she quickly pivots and delivers a precise strike with her short sword. The blade pierces the bugbear's chest, drawing a pained grunt. Elena's spectral spiritual weapon, after a series of misses, finally finds its mark. Whirling through the air with divine precision, it strikes the last remaining bugbear squarely in the head. The bugbear's eyes roll back as it crumples to the ground, vanquished by the relentless onslaught. The chamber, once filled with the cacophony of clashing weapons and pain grunts, falls silent, save for the heavy breathing of the victorious party. Finn, the agile halfling rogue, breaks the silence that hangs heavy in the chamber. She sheathes her short sword and leans against the wall, exhaustion etched across her face. Well, that was a fierce battle, and I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm running low on tricks, she admits, her tone weary. Do we press on or find a safe spot to rest? Elena, the composed elven cleric, takes a moment to catch her breath before responding. I share your sentiment, Finn. She says, her voice calm despite the fatigue in her eyes. Our spells are nearly depleted, and it wouldn't be wise to face whatever lies ahead without our full strength. 
but we also can't provide time for the spider to prepare for our coming. Gareth, the sturdy dwarven fighter, nods in agreement. He examines his battered armor and the dents in his trusty blade talon. We've come this far, he grumbles, but we also can't afford to stumble into another fight half prepared. Alden, the scholarly human wizard, chimes in, his voice tinged with uncertainty. It is a precarious situation. If we push forward and encounter more danger, we might not make it out alive. On the other hand, if we rest here, who knows what the spider could be doing in the meantime. The party exchanges knowing glances, their thoughts swirling with the weight of their decision. For now, they remain undecided. Caught between the urgency of their quest and the need for respite in the unforgiving depths of Wave Echo Cave. And that is where we leave our group of adventurers. Do you think the party should rest or should they press on? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks a ton for watching. Special thanks as always goes out to my patrons. You're all amazing. If you'd like access to the art I've been using in this series, like the backgrounds, NPCs, and characters, come join us on Patreon and you can have access to all of that for as little as a dollar a month. We will catch you all in the next one.